Yo, what's going on everybody, this is Mystical. Today I bring you hopefully a quick video going over the weak orders for the War Within. And you can take all of these weak orders, they are all yours. I will put them in the description. The goal for these weak orders is to make, I was trying to make different groups for different things you might need. And if you don't need a certain group, you can just delete it. So that was my goal. If there's anything I'm missing, please comment and I can make it. This is for both PvP and PvE as well. Starting off with Chi Harmony. So what they did in the War Within is they made it so the first eight seconds that you put Renewing Mist on somebody, you get the chi harmony buff or they get the chi harmony buff so this just puts a chi harmony countdown for the first eight seconds of renewing mist on whoever has it it also works if it's applied through rapid diffusion next up is manatee stacks so there's a lot of things little things i can do with this so i made it so it'll show your manatee stacks and when you get above five stacks of manatee it'll glow all right, so at five stacks, it'll start glowing. I also made it so it glows on Manatee on the action bar. Now, what you're going to have to do and customize it is you're going to have to go into this Manatee five stacks and you can change the condition to if you don't want anything on your action bar to glow, you can just delete it. If you want this to change to whatever Manatee, you know, is, by the way, I want to change the color back to, to what it is. If you want to change to wherever Manatee is on your bar, you just have to press choose and then click on the action bar that or the action button that your manatee's on and it'll glow blue when manatee's at five stacks now there's a lot of different things i could do for this i can make it go to 10 stacks and glow more i can do whatever you want so if there's something different you want to see i can do that shaylin's gift so this one is this one was fun to make this one was very fun to make i made this so shaylin's gift it will track your shaylin's gift stacks so i need to be in combat to actually get stacks of Shaylin's gift, but what this is going to do is this is going to track the amount of stacks that you have, and then it'll show also the buff that you get and how many stacks of the Heart of the Jade Serpent you have. Um, one thing I forgot to note is I actually, do, I, I don't have it loaded right now because I was PvPing and I don't need this in PvP, but this will also show you what the next debuff or the next buff is going to be if you're playing Shao House Lessons. Pretty much, this is the next one. When you press Shaylin's Gift, it's going to show you your buff. It's going to show the next one and then show how many stacks of Heart of the Jade Serpent you have. And that is from the Conduit of the Celestials here at Talon. So you get Heart of the Wild also from pressing Conduit. And you should be able to see the buff right here. So eight seconds of the cooldown reduction on your Renewing Mist, Rising Sun Cake, Live Kakuna Thunder Focus T. Mistweaver buff. So this is the big one. This is like the generic just Mistweaver buffs for both PvP and PvE. I can go through them. So Diffuse Magic is defensive and similar. Uh, Diffuse Magic and Fort Brew have the same condition or the same action where when you press them, they're going to glow. So when I Fort Brew, it's active and it's going to glow on my action bar. Same with Diffuse Magic. I use Diffuse Magic. It's going to glow on my action bar. If you want to change that, you can. So you're going to have to go into actions and whatever, whichever button your Diffuse Magic or Fort Brew on, you just press choose and then you just press where it is and then it'll glow. Now, if you don't want that, just uncheck glow external element. Escape from reality. So I have a little escape from reality is interesting this season because I'm going to be swapping between bounce back and healing winds and healing winds heals me for 10% of my max health when I for when I port. So when I port, my port's going to glow because I have escape from reality buff, which means I can port again. And similar to the glow, th this only glows. So if you don't want the glowing on your action bar, that's completely fine. Again, just go into actions and you could just delete it. Or sorry, you could just go into the glow and remove the glow. That's fine. Zen so focus T, manatee buff. We went over. So manatee buff is just, you know, your stacks of manatee. It's a countdown, innervate, vivacious vivification. So this is a countdown for your vivacious vivification. I think this is going to be really important for PvP. So this is a countdown. From 10 seconds um it's green when you have it so i press it it desaturates to uh, black and white when you press it or when you don't have it and then the countdown starts again and it just keeps going over and over again celestials so there you don't see chiji and yulon because i have them stacked on top of each other but it's there i promise chiji's right there yulon's right here this just glows when you press it it's nice that you don't have to look down your action bar to see if it's active. This is kind of hard to look at in the middle of like an arena or a boss fight or anything like that. So it's it can be kind of annoying. Next is Zen Spheres. And this is for obviously PvP. It will only load when you have the PvP talent Zen Spheres. And what this does is it'll show up right next to your player character or wherever you want it. And they will go away if it's on somebody. So if I put a Zen Sphere on myself, this will go away. For some reason, it doesn't work on target dummies. I don't know why. 
I think it's because I'm tracking like the debuff on players, not and not NPCs. But yeah, it'll go away if it's act if it's active, and if it's you need to press it, it'll show up. Next is teachings of the monastery. So this is a really simple. This just tracks your teachings buffs when you're fist weaving. You get four stacks of it. I just have these symbols. You can change the symbols if you want. You can go by just going into here, clicking choose, and you can change this to whatever you want. I just like the little Japanese characters, but you can again, you can just play what or use whichever one you want. Cataract magic again. This is for PvP only. So this tracks. This shows on your raid frames when you have when your teammates have counteract magic buff on them. Really important to track this buff because once you get to three buffs, if you just even if you just dispel one buff at a time, your teammates will keep that buff. So keep that in mind. Really important. I think it's really important to track counteract magic as much as you can. And then finally, the biggest cause of headaches is this TF Serenity Week Chorus. So this one, this went through a lot of iterations because I didn't know how I wanted to go about using TF Serenity. And I can also update it for TF Plenty as well. But what this does is this will track all of your Thunder Focus Ts in one week aura. It is absolute, it was a pain and I was think of how many different ways I can go about it but you press Thunder Focus T it shows the T of Serenity procs that you have and then it'll just show when you have Thunder Focus T I think it's overwhelming if I just showed like an icon every time you have Thunder Focus T up so this just shows the two charges of Thunder Focus T and it's glowing that's pretty much it and I do I can add four T of Plenty as well I think it's what it's uh Enveloping Mist Expel Arm Rising Sun Kick yeah that, that's possible to do so that shouldn't be too bad to add but yeah that is pretty much it for all my weak auras i know i get a lot of questions but i used help from a lot of other weak auras that are also live on on the website so i took some inspiration from there but if you have any questions at all please let me know if you have any suggestions for a weak aura that might be missing or an important buff or debuff that you want to see uh just let me know as well because i can easily just update this week or on the website over and over again and that is it i will have a link to all of these i'm going to upload them separately and then have them in one group in case there's only one or two that you want uh but that is it for me hope everyone has a fantastic day hope you to the video i'll see you later